Good evening, you beautiful cucumbers. It is time for another weekly positive party. And I did say party. We are going to be live from Victoria, Texas. We are going to be live from New York. We are going to be live from Puerto Rico. And we need positivity in this world. You are all beautiful cucumbers. You are all welcome. We are ready to burn it down. We have our brother from another mother, Manny Zamora here to join us. But first, shout out Sandy D, M.M. Farwell, Jamie Bennett, Kelly's Death Pickles, A and F Agriculture, DJ Miowski. TCB Studios, all day, all night, whenever you're watching us, if you're watching us live, if you're watching us a week from now, if you're watching us a decade from now, no matter where you are, no matter who you are, you matter. Punk rock saves lives and this show saves lives. But I couldn't do it without my brother from another mother, without my partner in rhyme all of the time, Good crime, Bonnie and Clyde. You know who he is. This is his show. His name is Bucket of Fish, Bucket of Fish, Bucket of Fish, Tom Cheshire. What's up? What? We did I, it. We did I it have again. Never in my life, I witnessed a better intro than that. My homegirl sister. I even got the hoodie. You know, Mama, Mama, Mama said knock you out. That was <laughs> amazing. I'm knock you. There you go. Yeah. Let, me tell, you, and let me tell you this. Uh, I'm a big fan of expressions and cliches and all those things. And I have to say that you are a sight for sore eyes because I know a lot of our friends and fans and, and viewers, everyone's going through the ups and downs and all arounds. And I had a lot of things test me this week, but I refused to get the best of me. I got the best of them, all of it. Thank you so much, my sister, Renee. You your know what? Ah. We're giving the devil a black eye today. We're Not giving today. the devil a black eye. Not today, Satan. Get thee behind because we have a positive party. You know, if you add a D, this is what Tupac Shakur said. If you add a D to evil, you get the devil. And if you add an O to good, you get God. Light and darkness cannot coexist. So we love the same things. We hate the same things. One of the things we love is backstage right now. The other things that we love are beautiful cucumbers <laughs> in the crowd. We love and hate the same things. That's right. It's the, be it's the best. And the thing is, is like, I love that. It's like, uh, we, lately what we've been saying around the studio is, not today, Satan, but maybe tomorrow, call Sagan. <laughs> <laughs> I Shout out it, to D, by it. the way. Shout out to D, TCB oh, Studio. Yeah, DJ Meowski. Yeah, Meowski. and I want to give a Meowski. shout out to my partners as well, who I, I think about often and I love what they've done. Uh, Cassie and James on three yeah. on the one twos. You know, because we're all trying to do these creative things and leave a little bit of a legacy and do some cool stuff, you know, and uh, burn it down. Really, it is 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 this product of you inspiring me, me back giving it back to you, inspiring you, and us trying to have a positive party. And I was just talking backstage with our guest, who I've been watching from afar for a while, and I have so many things I want to say in the intro, but I think I might as well just say it when I kind of meet him live, you know, in front of everyone, yeah. because uh, you brought you know. I've introduced you to some people, and I love that. And I've introduced you to some music, and I, and I love that. And you've, and you've introduced me to some new people and some films and books and music. And it really is the greatest thing because we just yeah. try to help each other and inspire each other and build each other up. You and know, it's like a remix. It's like a remix. When you introduce somebody to something else, then it's a remix. And you sort of like remix their lives. You remix their right. interests. You remix everything. And by right. the way, what I do, I forgot on the intro, I want to give a shout out, special shout out to our brother, Julio Morales. Yes. He's always there for us. He's always promoting this show. He's kind of like the heart of the 
what burn it down stands for. So I, I yeah. just wanted to correct that error that I didn't say it in the moment, but that was what I wanted to say. Love Julio and also one of my favorite singer songwriters and such an interesting artist and full of 200% uh, passion. Shout out yeah. my man Julio. And, um, you know, yeah, you're absolutely right. Uh, and, and everyone watching as well. I love that you mentioned some of our brother and sisters, brothers and sisters from who have other shows. I know yeah. we're going to get into it with, about Rory, who I'm a big fan of, because you have a show with this guest with Rory. And um, there's just so much cool stuff to tackle. And what I really love about this guest is he just inspires. He's... You know, I was thinking about it when I was writing about it. I was like, he's certainly wearing these hats. He's an artist and he's a historian and he's a creator. But he just, everything he says, he just looks very worldly and peaceful. And he inspires me to make peaceful and good decisions. So I want to thank Manny for that. We might as well bring him up and talk to him about it in person. Yeah. What? <laughs> bucket of fish, bucket of fish, bucket of fish, Manny Zamora. To the positive, 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 positive. <laughs> I just want to say I want to stay positive here. I want to shout out to my brothers and my sisters. <laughs> I, I promised today I was going to do an impression of you. That's Tom, the top so. treasure. I, I That's love the top it. Treasure. I, I, listen, I, I listen, you know, um, you. there are no guarantees in this world, you know. And there may be a time that I'm not around. Uh, I hope I'm around for a long time. But if I'm not, you guys, once in a while, just just imitate me and go, this goes out to my brothers and sisters and all the beautiful cucumbers. All you beautiful cucumbers out there. Absolutely. But the thing is, it's, it's from the heart and the crotch and the Absolutely. brain. I want, you to see right. a, I want you to see a heavy metal show in Puerto Rico the other night. And let me tell you, they love their metal. At a place called La Respuesta. Yeah. Which just means the answer, which what a great name of a rock oh, and roll that's very cool. answer. Yeah. The people in white makeup on, and it's it is black metal as hell. But in the middle of the club, there's a big poster of Bob Marley, and I was like, I love it. Bob Marley, there's still love oh, everywhere. Right. Peaceful. Oh. And this guy oh. I was talking, who played it, I was like, Good is good. Good art is good art. Good music is good music, you know. And and and, and I was like, Look, that Bob Marley, he goes, Oh, we love Bob Marley. I was like, I love Black Sabbath, but I also listen to Wu Tang Clan and Bob Marley, and I and I listen to John Coltrane and Miles Davis because good is good and bad is yeah. bad, and that's what you figure out with right. uh, even with you guys what you talk about with your films, which we'll get into, art and film and books and literature and and movies because there are differences sometimes between film and movies, and there's just so much uh, that you and and there's so much you can discuss, but there's good and bad in all of it. Right on. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so what, Manny yeah. Has, Manny's very give eclectic. To give a Manny, shout out to Rory. Yeah, shout out to Rory. Rory. We'll to talk That's about right. Rory a little yeah. bit. Well, yeah. I got I to gotta say, you know, I, there's, there's three people that I got to thank for, for being here. One, of course, is Dennis. Dennis Tardan. Tardan. He, he's the man. You know, he brought me into his network. And then he introduced me to, to Renee and to Rory and to all these other people. And so, you know, he was my gateway drug. <laughs> Love Dennis. <laughs> but, big but time. Rory, Rory, he, uh, we got into a discussion. We got, we got to talking uh, in DMs about, about a show, about the Big Monster Show. Did and he I, slide into your DMs, Manny? Did uh, he slide into, <laughs> into your DMs? That he, sounded perver that sounded perverted. He, he, he slid into my DMs and I liked it. And we uh, never looked back. Yeah. And I never looked back because I don't know what's back there. No, uh, no, he uh, you know, so we had a discussion. I was telling him, you know, uh, about the show. I, I even forget what it was, but you know, I think it's probably one of the Godzilla movies or whatever. And I was like, Yeah, oh, it's so great, and blah blah blah. And did you ever what about what about this movie and that movie? And it's like, oh yeah, we're We've done that one. We're going to do this one, you know. And so he comes out and says, "Hey, you know, since you're a fan and you seem to know a lot about these movies, you want to you want to come on? Do you want to do a character?" And I was like, "Hell yeah!" <laughs> right. So, so I I created the character of uh, of Sergeant Havoc. But I got to tell you, I got to tell you, this is the kind of guy that Rory is, right? 
the mm -hmm. the the cap that I wear uh, as the character, the the camouflage cap. I didn't I didn't get that. Rory right. bought it and sent it to me. Oh, he's he's an angel. Mm -hmm. You do you know you know do do you have this type of hat? And I said no, no. I said well, I'll send one to you. I'll send that way you know that way you'll have a, for a character. I'm like, come on, he didn't have to do that. Right. I could have gone and bought a cap, but but no, he took the trouble to send me this cap so I could have this character to be honest to be on the show. And so, and me, I I didn't know what you know. I, I come on, I have cap and everything on, no lighting, so all I I'm like this silhouette. <laughs> you know, and finally I figured out. Oh well, you know, maybe I maybe I need to put some light on. Uh, so I got a, a little rim light that I, that I have here, and so after that, everything's been been fine. But yeah, it's a fun character to play. I always love when when it's my turn to be on the show, and of course, you know, the the two guys and the gal talking about movies. That's something that that Brene inspired. Uh, she came yeah. on and said, "Hey, you know, you need to have your own show, man." You, you, yeah, you, know, you have a really good presence on camera, and so I thought about it, and I thought, well, she was, nice. you know, but I yeah. didn't want to step on what what Rory was doing, so I thought, oh, what if we just do like a listing show, you know, like top ten or whatever? Mm -hmm. But then I cut it down to, to just the top five, so I figured the bottom five nobody gives a fuck about, so <laughs> <laughs> it's just the top five, right. the and, top yeah, five. I, and that was that was the genesis of two guys and, and a gal. It used to be called sometimes a gal, but we want Renee to be much more. Oh, she's the best. Well, thank Renee, you, thank you, thank you. Renee is incredulously talented on so many levels. Uh, but a producer, director, writer, an actor, a singer, a songwriter, a performer. Uh, yeah. She can dissect these things, but even more than that is, she she's a facilitator, which I try to do. I'm not as good as her, but she finds these things in people, and she makes them proper chess moves. And she That's wasn't it. like, you really do have some beautiful stage presence. Mm -hmm. uh, I, sometimes I listen to you and Rory, and you're absolutely right. Rory is an angel and such a generous man, but also yeah. what incredible talent as well. Okay, sometimes I listen to three of you talk, and, you know, it's like serenity now, serenity now. Yeah. I've, been, I've had a rough day. Can we go off about, about Jesus? <laughs> I've had a rough day, and I got a million things racing through my mind, and I go, I'm going to lay down and just listen to them talk about this movie. And yeah. boom, sudden, oh, I'm, I'm, at peace, I'm at peace again, and I'm like, thank you, thank you. You know, so it's wonderful. Well, thank you. Yeah. 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 Thank you. No, that, that's, you know, that's the goal. That's that's the thing. Is like like you said, you know, spreading positivity and, and you know, <laughs> sharing what we love, and we love these movies, and you know, and if we get to introduce people to some movies I've never heard of or never seen, like uh, you know, we introduced Renee tonight <laughs> to some movies she never even heard of. Uh, I figure, hey, job that's my job is done. Job. Yeah. And yeah. also to make her make her do this a lot. Right. That happens actually, at least once a day with, with Manny, yeah. You actually <laughs> wind up accomplishing several things. Let's see, you count on, let's say, one hand. Like when uh, myself, I was giving a shout out to Cassie and James for three other ones and twos. We call it a music club for, for book, like a book club for music nerds. And so often what happens is if someone brings an album to talk about, it might be uh, a, a weird Brian Eno album that people haven't listened to in a long time, and people mostly know what he what he's done with like Velvet Underground and all these other obscure New York bands and stuff. Right, but then yeah. they're like, wait a minute, I didn't, I forgot about this air, airplane airport music album, or you know, uh, these yeah. sounds that he did. And then so we have viewers contacting us saying. Oh, I'd never listened to them, or I never listened to the band The Wipers before. But I remember Kurt Cobain when Nirvana was big, saying they were his favorite band. Thank you. Now I'm checking them out. And then even better than that is when we ourselves, the hosts, like what you're talking about with Renee. I'm like, wait a minute. I remember I was dating this girl in college, and I used to listen to that record. But it's been 25 years now. I'm going to go back and revisit it, re fall in love, and re understand this this music. And so there's so many. Levels of things that are being achieved, and yeah. most of all, it's it's music connecting people. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Music is the universal so, language, so, and you know it's yeah. And films you know, what you're listening to classical, jazz, rock, you know, death metal, whatever. 
Yeah. I'm going to speak to you at, at some level, you know. And right. I've been introducing uh, Renee. I've been sending her all these playlists. He's these a things. great mixtape artist. You know, that's like its own. It. That's its own skill. He does these. He does these Spotify lists, and it's like anything that you like. He's better than an algorithm. I'm oh telling you, this God. guy yeah. knows every he's, type of music. He's like mo a modern day Manny Pandora. Because <laughs> he is. He's a Manny Pandora. But in like Manny in, in Pandora. Back in the day, if you put like Thin Lizzy in the Pandora, yeah. it might turn you on to uh, T Rex or something, you know. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But the same thing with film. Uh, you know, I belong to a book club with um, my brother Scott, who's been on the show, and a few of my best friends in New York, and it's wonderful. And it's basically we all read a book, and then we figure out a day. It's once every month, or once every five, six weeks, and and in and let's say it's Death of a Salesman or whatever book it is, you know, because you all have to revisit these books we haven't read since we were children or 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 it might be these new books but you'd be like oh did you notice in this book that guy drinks a lot of white russians that's the theme of the night next thing you know we're all on zoom we're drinking white russians and talking about that <laughs> that, that, that book and it's, that. it's wonderful hey, beverage here <laughs> oh yeah it's, well that's a school it's a school night. It, think, uh, white, uh, I'm such a nerd. It's, it's a school night it's just, just water Sometimes I think about changing our show to Thursday nights because Thursday nights I can have a few. I don't mind if I'm in the studio hurting on a Friday. <laughs> yeah. We can get, we yeah. can do it. We can do it. Well, I want to thank Renee for being a constant positive presence in all of our lives, for everyone, for the viewers, uh, because she sent me a note the other day and it couldn't have come at a better timing because, yeah. I, I, cause I, and then, and then vice versa, I try to do the same for her. So I, and, and, and I'm so grateful that she introduced me to you. Uh, by the way, I want to, after the show, get your email address and I want you to send me some uh, mixes and some songs that I should okay. check out. Everybody sure. hit him up. Everybody right. slide into his DMs and he will send you Spotify lists that are like awesome. Mixed I've got. Oh man, uh, I don't know. He's how, got a I, show tunes one for many. me. He's got like you know punk one for me. Like like uh, Good. blues. I love it. Yeah. Well, he's clearly, like I said, you, I mean, you know, we we try to be these very open minded, positive, beautiful, comfortable. This is a safe zone. And yeah. I look around a lot. And I say I'm comfortable with my sexuality, which I very much am. I have no problem saying, Manny, you are an absolutely beautiful man. Like, I watch you and I'll tell D, I, go, I just love looking at him and hearing him talk. And it's just, I think of the words worldly and wise and peace and and gorgeous yeah. transitions. Uh, and and that's a combo of seeing you and hearing you speak. Uh, it, it, it's, it's the heroine. <laughs> you, you, you mean you're influenced by heroines like Renee you were yeah, that's like, right like yeah, Renee. that's, Renee's right. my Thank heroine you. I, am, yeah. I am his heroine yes yeah. hopefully it's I'll enough. get him ever more addicted he's always chasing yeah, that keep dragon it positive, man. Keep it he's chasing the dragon <laughs> It's like 120 degrees in here. Wearing, pony, wearing long sleeve shirts. For like, it's 111 degrees wearing long sleeve shirts. What's going on? Exactly. So what, have you, what else have you got going on that you want to talk to us about? Because it seems like you stay very busy with just uh, creating and producing. Well, you know, in between, in between doing the shows, uh, you know, I've been working on this uh, this comic book series for a while, um, and um, I'm starting to do. Uh, I just finished the script for it, and I'm uh, working on uh, issue number four. Mm -hmm. so that in the works should be out in December. Gradually, uh, my goal is three three issues per year, so this will be the third issue uh, for this year. Uh, haven't been doing a lot of music lately. Uh, you know, I, I kind of went through that phase where I was just putting out music and putting it on uh, SoundCloud and stuff like that. But uh, yeah. uh, but I might start doing that again. Uh, that's that's yeah. fun to do. Um, yeah, but mainly just you know just concentrating on the comics. Uh, so good. Everybody, I, I I may start another book. Uh, I'm not sure yet. Uh, I have a, a few ideas and. Uh, yeah, whatever, whatever else comes up, you know, but mainly, and then of course, you know, two guys, uh, and uh, we're bringing back uh, outside the line sometime. Uh, haven't really decided when, but once I once I figure out, you know, well, and I need to get with Renee about this. And right, uh, 
with another time slot besides Monday. So, uh, so we'll see how that works out. But uh, yeah, you know, I'm just, yeah. And outside the lines, just happy to he be likes here. to. But no, he, I want to say outside the lines, Manny really likes to tackle these controversial topics. Right. Like, yeah, and, and that's something where he's kind of like the guy of controversy. He doesn't shy away from controversy. He's right. very bold about it. So I don't know. Yeah. Well, I, I've got a couple of things to say on, on a few things. Well, one is, first of all, I love this show, Renee. I love what we do. And I love that sometimes things, because it's television, don't go exactly how it's planned. I want to give a shout out to Rick Ammerman, who from behind the scenes has been giving me some advice on this show. And last week, it shows you that I'm not perfect. We were texting each other and I was like, hey, let's have you on. And I made a post about it and he goes, He's like, I told you I can't do it. Like, I'm I, I'm working nights and stuff. And I was like, I'm so sorry. And then we we're going to have our friend Bill Taft on. And um, he um, does a lot of work for the in the prison systems. He's doing great stuff, and he's an amazing artist. And then he couldn't do it. And I was like, wait a minute. We've been wanting to have Manny on forever. He deserves this time because I love having people on and meeting, re like getting to know someone like you and hearing your stories and what you're up to. So I love that we take it seriously but we're completely fine with just going yo let's let, let, this is the way it's happening tonight and uh i'm just so excited to have have you on and we'll have those other guys on down the road i mean that's just the way it is you know it it um things get switched up i've been told this because i work in television behind the scenes it's like it's not you know you know, you know it's not rocket science and it's not <laughs> it's and no one's like it's not a heart surgery it's TV. Just be, just give people good content and good conversation like this, you know. And yeah. what, what I really love about the two guys and a girl uh, on films and movies is I was watching several recently, and because you're also you're all intellects and you have impeccable taste in music and art and music and art and film and movies, you know. But also, we don't take ourselves too seriously. Like when you guys are talking about Tom Cruise, I know that <laughs> I know. I know for me, my two favorite Tom Cruise movies are Minority Report and um, Magnolia. Oh I, wow! Yeah. And, Magnolia. and then when you talked about the film that he did with Jamie Foxx, I was like, wait a minute! Holy crap! I forgot about that. He's this ruthless killer. And you made some really good points. You were like, he's always playing the good guy. I kind of really dug him. And you were having fun. You were laughing about it. You're like, I kind of dug him being the bad guy. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I really appreciate that because that's the thing, too. It's like we take what we do seriously, but we don't even – I'm not – listen, it's about common courtesies and respect. But trust me, sometimes I need to just laugh, and I will tell you that Zoolander – and um, Dumb and Dumber are both genius movies. <laughs> and <laughs> over eating French fries, they're perfect. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I love Zoolander and Dumb and Dumber. It's just so you know, funny. You just need, yeah, you just need a laugh. There you go. <laughs> yeah, and the thing on on the show is, is like we 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 do get giddy and we get very silly. It's so much fun, yeah. and it's so uh, we have fun with it. We have fun. It's it's beautiful. It's a really beautiful thing to watch. Yeah, we have, we're big fans of uh, quoting comedies here at the studio. Like, I mean, just take it, like when Ben Stiller is talking to Winona Ryder and Zoolander, and he's like, "I had to go pee," but when I come back, I really want to continue talking about this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> like the stupidest thing ever, but like I will repeat that several times. <laughs> well, that's what it's like. Like being on two guys. Um, it's so cool because it's kind of like hanging out. It, what we like to give is like this vibe of, okay, like Manny and Rory really are encyclopedic in their oh, knowledge. This, this, this stuff. Is, but yeah. then it's also like hanging out with your friends, but it's hanging out like with your really intelligent friends who know everything about movies. But then it also kicks into like the fun, you know, moments where you just kind of like, it's like, you're like, you're like just, right. just laughing your ass off. The best, like it's just fun. Yeah. Yeah. I think the best one we ever had was when we started ripping on poor Sinbad. Yeah. Oh my I, I gosh. Oh, I live in trauma from that. You know, so and the thing is, is he's he probably the nicest guy. I, you know, he's first of all, nice don't, guy, yeah. don't sell yourself short, Renee. You are a genius as well. But I do know what you're saying. It's like, yeah, oh, I'm they I'm, know they're, yeah. Yeah, with yeah. two encyclopedias of film. But again, it's just, I love when it's transparent. And you can see, well, like, I hope he people are 
we're smiling and just having fun. Yeah. And there's enough sadness and depression and anxiety and stresses in the world. Um, I remember yeah. reading one of Tom Petty's quotes, and I know he had several. One is, I don't believe in magic, but I believe in music. And that's the closest thing I've ever witnessed to magic, you know, uh, which yeah. I absolutely love. But he also said, you know, people work so hard and and they have such re- ridiculous stresses and anxiety in their life, which we all have and experience. And he's like, he's like, so if someone comes to my show, all I want them to do is not think about those problems for two hours. Right. And I'm like, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. you know, put on, your, put on your dancing shoes, you know, I don't, you know, and, and get filthy on the dance floor. Who cares? You know, yeah. <laughs> shake the cross. I don't know. Mary Jane's last dance, you know? I yeah. Love it. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> Absolutely, man. Oh, my goodness. Well, I want to hear some of the music that you've worked on your, your, yourself, but I also want to get in on this mixtape crew because I have a feeling you're going to turn me on to some stuff that I've never heard of, and that excites me so much, and I hope I can do the same for you. Oh, yeah. I'm always, I'm always you know, <coughs> looking for new, new stuff, old stuff that I've that I got about. You know, Behind the scenes, Renee, give him give him my email address. I'll prompt please. him if he forgets. I'll definitely prompt him if he forgets. It's boom 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 boom, boom at gmail. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Well, yeah, you know, you're you're on the you know I can I, I yeah I sent her the the links uh through her through her DM so yeah that's that, so listen uh, let me just say that that Renee and I both yeah. love. Renee and I both love to be privately our DM slid in as, into it. Yeah, well. slide into our DMs. I absolutely love that. Exactly. Yeah, okay. and you know the thing. The thing about Manny, I want to say, is like he's. I we, I have a joke that like he sort of can do everything because he can create music. <laughs> he can do the the lists. He's also a singer. He's also an actor. He's a Brian. great improv artist. Um, Pan is watching right now, and Pan had him has him as one of her. Uh, improv artist that she features on her channel and he's just absolutely impeccable he does impressions he does characters but then he's also like really profound and he gets into those moments where he's you know very profound and like intelligent about everything and he has these great um insights that he brings up and then he's also a visual artist and then he also worked for the newspaper for years i mean that was like he does kind of everything but he does it all well I'm, well, so I'm, a renaissance, I'm a renaissance man. What can I Yes, say? he is a renaissance man. And he's hilarious. He's absolutely hilarious. This is what I said earlier. I just said, I see a worldly man. I see a worldly yeah, person. And Renee and I, we've talked about this on the show. And it's like, you know, worldly might be the greatest um, compliment you can give to a person. Because when, when I was a young boy, like my heroes were like Robert De Niro and Cape Fear or Jack Nicholson and, and these guys look so worldly and I would joke around and be like, they look like they know about everything from a brothel to a beauty parlor to an ice cream bar, you know? Yeah. And everything between train tracks and probably heroin tracks on the arm. Who knows, you know? But it's just, <laughs> train um, tracks and heroin. Like and we're worldly. right back to heroin, yeah. Worldly enough to know that, okay, I'm not going to repeat those mistakes and I'm getting better at, you know, and so Manny is a worldly man, you know, and I'm just trying to be a really good worldly man, you know? I think you're making it. Yeah. We're getting you there. You seem very worldly. You're, you're no, you seem you're very there, worldly yeah. to me, Tom. Yeah. You're very earthy. You're very worldly. And you're also earthy, otherworldly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, the thing about both Tom and Manny is I feel safe, like confiding in them stuff like fears or insecurities or whatever. And then I also feel really safe being goofy and silly and crazy, you know. So that to me is worldly is you have that sort of like robust wholeness to both of you. And that's great. Not everyone's like that. A lot of people are more monochrome. And they have just like, you know, one sweet spot. You guys have a lot of sweet spots. Well, but you do it well, Renee. You're you're worldly. You know, um, basically, uh, we do on this show, Manny, is we just in a circle stroke each other's egos and say, "You're good looking. <laughs> you're That's beautiful. True. You're good at joke. You're good at dancing. I used to tap dance." And um, we just basically compliment each other <laughs> and also just put out yeah. there, Ching, you're all beautiful as well. We love you all. <laughs> It's, it's, all it's the beautiful the cucumbers. We have all the beautiful. Well, that's the thing because everything's so negative out there, right? Like, so to have this time once a week 
where we're live. Everyone in the audience sort of gets to like tune out their problems, hopefully for this right. time. And then we also do, it's not like life is easy for, for any of us right now. A lot of people are struggling. I'm struggling. We're all kind of struggling, right? And then to just have this moment where you just allow yourself to feel good, give yourself permission, allow yourself to sort of like, you know, tune out from all of that horrible all that awful stuff that's going on because yeah. it's so easy you know tom said this before it's so easy to tear something down what's hard to do is to build something or somebody up, up. Right. that's what takes exactly. actual focus dedication consistency so yeah. we're doing that that building work here trying to like right. remind people like you value like you have value like you matter yeah. like you know, yeah. we're, we're, we're just emerging from, we're at the tail end of Suicide Prevention Month. Um, we're celebrating that here, not celebrating, but we are acknowledging that here at MM Harwell and on SDF with Bethy Allen to just remind everybody, like, you count, like, you matter, like, we're thinking about you, like, reach out, stay connected. So Positive Party um, is one of the elements of us acknowledging. Yeah, to M -M and Bethy and everyone and Jake and everyone at SDF, yep. such a real thing. And yeah. um you know, um, we try our best to remind folks, but we forget as well. I mean, um, yeah. you know, um, and, and, and it's okay. It's okay. That's the other thing. It's like, that's why we remind each other and keep in touch with each other and send each other these notes that you and I send each other, Renee, which I really do appreciate. Uh, they, are worth, they are worth, well, you know, you know, that commercial when we were little kids, it's like, you know, um, a, a Slurpee is four dollars. Um, you know, a new base for me is thirty dollars. You know, a red is six hundred eleven dollars. Uh, time in the park with your dad, priceless. Like your yeah. your your texts like that to me are priceless. Having this conversation with you and Manny was priceless. Later on, laying down, reading the comments, and communicating with our friends and fans, that's and our viewers, that's priceless. Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. Yep. And yeah. everyone also check out the, the YouTube because we do have a, some beautiful comments over there on the live YouTube. So all the Facebook people go over there and vice versa. So we can sort of see all the amazing, incredible. Po and I love our we have the best audiences in the world because everybody keeps it so positive. Everybody is like it's, it's sort of like a, the positive party is like this contagion yeah. that goes around the anti COVID. Yeah. Right. Again, yes, yeah, shout out to Rick Ammerman. And yeah. uh, my friend Amanda Blackman, uh, Rick and I, Rick has, uh, really has given us some wonderful suggestions that I brought to Renee. And then a shout out to our brother, Dan Falkenthal, who yeah, was thought was going to be on the show more. But uh, he hit me up and this is very real. I'm, I'm saying this with his permission because it's about nothing but love and respect on the show. But he was like, Tom, I need to tell you I'm not in a in a good personal and space and uh mental health space and spiritual health space right now to be able to do this show with you and renee but I'm, i'll be glad to you know give you feedback or hit me up whatever and uh, we text each other every few days just to check on them. mental health check how you doing yeah. brother like, i'm doing good man i love the show i'll let you know when i can do it um and it's actually really lovely you know because i'm so proud of that friendship and I've never okay. even met him. I met him uh, on a board for Punk Rock Saves Lives. He was in Chicago, and we were talking to a bunch of musicians in Denver, Colorado, in the beginning of the pandemic, and we're all just there for each other, giving each other advice, or not even sometimes just being a shoulder and a like a listening ear. And it was it was brilliant, it was beautiful. Yeah, and if anyone wants to know who we're talking about and they don't know, go to the Cosmos Creative TV TikTok and Dan submitted all these amazing videos that are on our TikTok that are for Suicide Prevention Month, all these uplifting, um, really like mini speeches to sort of like tell people to hang in there and and to keep going and to, and to know your worth. So just head over to our TikTok. You're gonna see Dan, 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 MM Farwell has been uploading them. And yeah. he's really and, a brilliant individual. He's just so talk about it, talk about impressive in the world worldly. He's like thirty two years old, and he yeah. seems like like Manny and not like worldly yeah. man. Was walking, you know Simon like like uh, Art Garfunkel in the eighties walked the whole <laughs> globe. You know, um, you know Dan seems like he's walked the whole globe and stopped and yeah. fed it to little kids. You know, he's just amazing. Right. Oh, he's really good. Yeah. So everybody just head over there to TikTok and you'll see all of his yeah. 
MM has been putting up on our TikTok there. But yeah, it's very positive. Punk rock saves lives. Um, music saves lives. You know, we say that this this show saved. You know, it's kind of like uh, Woody Guthrie had, you know, on his guitar, this machine kills fascists. You know, and I feel like this show saves lives should be like. I'm like going to paint the guitar this weekend. That is amazing. B I. Yeah. This machine saves lives. I this machine saves lives. That's right. <clears throat> absolutely. Annie, are you in your own like personal studio since you do a lot of acting and trying out and stuff, or is that your home? Because I love the brick background. <laughs> this it's just the background. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just I'm just in my home. Uh, this is uh, actually I'm in my bedroom, <laughs> and I, but I have a little desk set up here. Yeah, and, I love it. Uh, Usually, uh, usually it's this green wall behind me. But yeah, I've seen but that. You know what? Uh, I, I need something other than than just that. You know, a little bit of texture. So I, I just put that. Yeah. <laughs> let me put it. Let me put another brick in the wall. I hear what you're saying. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Teachers, leave those kids alone. Oh my goodness! Oh, I, uh, I was listening yeah. to Floyd Metal, which is an album that isn't as popular as the other ones, but it might be my favorite this morning. It was the way I started my day, and it got me in a very mathematical uh, concept. Uh, everything I looked at was dreamy, and um, luckily I didn't have that much work to do today. Um, so uh, it was I, I was able to look at things and analyze them and be excited to hang out with you guys. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have a, I was excited too. Yeah. I've listened to uh, symphonic uh, Pink Floyd. There was a whole symphony that, that yeah. did their did their music, and it's just awesome. I mean, really, right. just to show you how musical these guys really are. So. A good genius. We had Jay Thompson on a while back, another beautiful, talented person that we met. Uh, and Jay, clearly, uh, his high school was Pink Floyd, and everything he plays sounds like them. And it was so great. Uh, Watching me, me and Renee and Jay talk and just smile and talk about interesting yeah. stuff, done, but also how they they've gotten involved in things politically and wrote a song for Ukraine recently. And um, yeah. just, if you have a voice, which we do, and it doesn't matter how big the crowd it is or the viewership it is, use it and try to defend the people that can't defend themselves. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Um, and Manny, um, Jonathan Duncan wanted me to ask you about your recording process with music, so I don't want to forget to ask you that. Yeah. Hey, Jonathan Duncan. Hey, John Duncan. How you doing? Down under, mate. Down, down there, God's own country. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so yeah, about your your music, you know, writing music, composing music, recording music. What is like your take us through your process? Well, I, you know, actually, I, I don't know if there's a whole lot to talk about. Uh, basically, uh, I have a program uh, on my Mac called uh, called Garage Band, and there's all these loops, these pre-made loops, and I string them together <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, until, it, until it sounds good you know i mean it's it's a little bit it's a little bit like sculpting in a way i love you that chip away a little bit you know uh well actually more like like working with clay you know, you can take a little bit off put a little bit on until until something comes out you know and it's like oh okay and, and so that's that's my process you know i, I never really learned to, to read music even though i wanted to um uh, or or anything like that but i i do have a little bit of an ear for for what sounds good and uh you know i figured hey if it, if it sounds good to me it probably sounds good to other people <laughs> right you know yeah. keep that, that rhythm going try to keep a beat going you know and uh so yeah i, I basically just make it up as i go along <laughs> i mean that's 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 the 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 honest uh, the honest answer there it's beautiful stuff and i've looked at that program by the way and i can't it's like it's like the most complicated i could never make even like eight bars i'm telling you the truth what he does is like sculpting it's like you know for me it would just be a bunch of clay and he just makes this beautiful like venus de milo or whatever but <laughs> i do I, recommend that anyone goes to his uh what is it uh band camp i think it's band uh, camp, soundcloud right? 
SoundCloud, sorry. SoundCloud it says Manuel Zamora, or is it Manny Zamora? Yeah. Um, uh, actually, I think it's under my, uh, my nickname, uh, Nuclear Mothman. Is it under oh. Nuclear Moth Mothman? Okay. Nuclear Mothman. That's a good yeah. name. That's a really That's good name. That's fantastic. I love nice. that. Um, I love the idea of layers, though, you know, and mm -hmm. it just shows you again that there's just so much pretty patterns and sounds and symphonies like you're talking about. Like, well, for instance, we went to this, went to this metal show the other night in Puerto Rico and um, I talked to the band afterwards and I was like, man, I love that you're coming on stage music. You guys are playing Porter's Head. And that's mm -hmm. a band I have listened to. So beautiful, you know, and I was like, Man, I love that those, those those loops and those guitar sounds. And they're like, "Oh yeah, we usually yeah. we play you the Porter's Head or weird uh, like uh, Radiohead instrumentals before we come on, you know." And I'm like, that, 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 "What you're doing is is you're creating a mood, you know?" Right, exactly. Yeah, and yeah. It's like you attack them with the loudest guitars ever. <laughs> <laughs> like, That's right. Yeah. Beautiful. Create this yeah. dream. Wow. Create this. It's a name I hadn't heard in a while. Yeah, but I love that. Portis uh, Head, uh, you know, everything but the girl, all those bands. Yeah, I love all that stuff. There was so much a massive attack. Uh, a lot of massive really cool attack. stuff that came out of England in the '90s was just phenomenal. Yeah. Yeah. You know, in the '90s and 2000s. Um, but absolutely, mm -hmm. so now I want to hear some of these soundscapes that you've done on Gar Garage Band now as well. Okay, well, I'll send you a link. All right. <laughs> Yeah, Tonight's everybody in the, in the comments is saying the exact same thing too, you know. And I also want to double back around because I was like, it was weird how I caught in. I just wanted to make sure I didn't forget Jonathan Duncan's question. But Tom was saying something very beautiful about, you know, we have this platform, so we're going to use it. Right. And that's the same thing that Manny has been saying about, like when he does like outside the lines, and he's like, look, we have this platform, like it's incumbent on us to do something positive in the world if you have that platform. So that's what Bernard Down stands for, and that's what Manny Zamora stands for too. So we're all kind of on the same page. Yeah, yeah. Use right. our voices, you know, use our yeah. voices. I love that outside the lines uh, too. Well, even with Burn It Down, it's it's kind of like this pretty uh, dichotomy, or you know, or, you know, it's like you you like Burn It Down. Is that is that uh, what are you trying to do? Uh, you know, start a riot, set a fire? No. <laughs> Anything that's negative, we'll turn that we'll burn it down and and building up positive stuff out out of out of that, you know. And it's it's all about um, rebuilding and helping our brotherhood and sisterhood and our own community and camaraderie and families and even locally, and then hopefully that spreads to globally, you know, because yeah. you can make a difference. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I got I got to say. Uh, Burn It Down always reminds me of this this meme and it's it's Winnie the Pooh and Piglet and they're sitting on this log and Winnie the Pooh says uh, asks Piglet what, what day is it? What day is it today, Piglet? And Piglet says this is the day where we burn this MF to the ground <laughs> oh my and, and, Pooh, and Pooh says my favorite day. Oh my gosh! We have to put that somewhere on Burn It Down. I love that. It comes. It comes from uh, a song that I wrote for my band West End Hotel, um, and uh, I redid the lyrics to be more positive. And I'm just not even me singing. It's my friend Steve Jackson in Washington D.C. It's one of my favorite singers singing the version that we have for the show. And yeah. that that version of the song was called "Love Is All Around." It's like "Love Is All Around" instead of "Burn It Down," you know. Uh, but um, that was a confusing time as well. You try to find the positivity in in these songs, uh, but some of it was some of it was dark. And uh, you, I guess at yeah. best you call it dark comedy. But I'm sure we confused some people because some of the lyrics in the song were like, you know, I'm going to take this car and smash it into your house and I'm going to burn it down. Um, it was it was a time where um, even me, myself, there was a lot of confusion and conflicted ideas going on of do I try to be a positive person and beat the negativity that's happening in my life or do I embrace the negativity? And I'm proud to say the positivity side of the shoulder won. <laughs> and we're doing great, you know. So we burnt it down in a good way. 
Yeah, burning it down in a very good way. And you know, MM Farwell walked in. Uh, MM, we got out, 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 out at the beginning, but she's also mentioning Journeys because Journeys is another show we have, which oh, yeah, yeah. kind of like outside the lines. It, it deals with controversial topics or whatever, and it uses the platform. But you know, she has it written in there. Um, it's like our our Journeys. Maybe they all they're all different, but like like we she'll she'll type it in here in a second and remind me. But it's like we we get joined together through different journeys. But it's like they all bring you to the same learn, place. You know? They all bring you to the same place, which it's is right, the, right, oh, yeah. And and uh, listen, I'm I'm not here to tell anybody that it's guaranteed happiness in life, you know. Mm -hmm. but, but you know, I as a matter of fact, I've told my own parents, I go, well, I'm an artist, so I'll never ever be happy, and I'll never admit that I'm happy. But I will tell you this: I'm this close to being happy right now, and that will suffice. Right, right. I get it. I love that. I think that's great. Happy yeah. is pretty damn close, you know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing. It's, it's also a choice, too, because so many people struggle. I've, I've known people who are struggling more than like you can even imagine the tragedy they are currently going through and they right. are finding this positivity. And then I know people who really is like almost objectively, it's like everything is going great in their life. And I'm like, man, how are you this healthy, happy, stable? And they find a way to just be pissed all the time. So oh, a lot know. of it really oh, is God. like mood and attitude. You know what I mean? That's such a yeah. good, good point. And we hear, like I said, we talked about cliches and sayings. You'd be like, the grass is always greener, you know. I mean, listen, I came from a family that everyone thought was the perfect family, the family next door. And then when people got close, you know, who become family, whether it's a brother-in-law or someone you're dating or whatever, and then they realize there's insanity and, and fighting going on in the family. I go, yeah, sorry to disappoint you. We're far from perfect. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling just like you, <laughs> you know. Yes. Right, and it's, exactly. and it's so, and that's the thing is like, I used to also feel like when I was a kid and stuff, I never, I never, I felt it was a weakness if I were to like reach out and like lean on someone emotionally. Right. I wanted to like do it all myself emotionally. And like, I'm still kind of like that, but someone, <laughs> someone like Dennis, I, I, I share with him on like a really deep level. Like there are certain people that I, I, so I'm encouraging everybody to do that. Like, it's not like that yeah. you're weak. If anything, it takes a lot of courage to find another individual <laughs> And I agree. Connect with and just say, hey, I'm not feeling well today, or today I just felt like crazy, or today I was grumpy. Right. You know what I mean? Or whatever. Yeah. Like, there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Like, that's human. That makes you more likable, even. Like, they've done studies. Like, people who are a little rough around the edges are more likable. So, yeah. doing yeah. the whole like prim and proper, like, nope, I'm, there's nothing wrong with me. That whole robotic, like, step for oh my thing, goodness. Actually, step for not five. Yeah. Yeah. Right. people like most <laughs> people, though. I love that. I love that movie, by the way. The original. Yeah. That, you guys should discuss the Stepford Wives. That's a great that, one. That is oh, yeah, movie. yeah. Yeah, I love that. Yeah, when people say everything is perfect and they say that they're happy and then they say, oh, I can't believe you didn't have kids. You know, um, you, you know, why didn't you have any kids? You, you know, you, you never know true happiness. And I was like, you want to know something? That's fine with me. I, I, every day I'm trying to find the closest thing to it. Being a good human, being a good son, being a good husband, being a good lover, being a good band leader, being a good person that helped being a good neighbor and uh, just trying to find that thing. That makes you feel good when you put your and your head into the pillow at the end of the night and you close your eyes. Yeah, I gotta let me jump in here and say, Do. you know, we were talking about uh, uh, Scarlett Johansson, and mm. we talked about this. There's this one movie called uh, The Good uh, A Good Woman. Yeah, and there's a scene with uh, uh, Helen Hunt and Scarlett Johansson, <laughs> and she uh, Helen Hunt tells her. You know, gives her this piece of advice. She says, if you close your eyes to the imperfect, you may wind up falling into an abyss. Wow. Yeah, that's and true. I thought, yeah. wow, that's heavy, heavy. You know, yeah, exactly. Those are yeah. two of great women that I've enjoyed just their voices on and their presence on screen as well. Mm -hmm. Really interesting voices. I'd love to, I, I need to rent that and, and check out that conversation. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Of this conversation, uh, I want to thank you so much, my brother. Uh, man, you were so great. My thank sister, you for me, man. oh my goodness, um, Rory's going to be proud of us. We went overtime, oh Rory. We went overtime for you, Rory. Listen, man, I got listen. Just for you, just so for you, <laughs> just for you, Penland. 
Well, Rory, we're Rory, pulling out the we're pulling out Rory, the you are the best. You are the best. Uh, you know, I got so much love uh, for everything you do, Renee, and everyone involved. Uh, Cosmos, aka CCTV Land, from the heart and the brain and the cross. The groin. The groin. Yeah. It's so yeah. Good. And listen, get crazy tonight. Have a sip of pink wine and start sl sliding into people's DMs. I don't know what to tell you. Slide into Penland's DMs. Somebody slide into Penland's DMs. Oh my goodness! Uh, yeah, I love the show. I, I, I love that too. But I, I also want to do Stu because MM came in a little bit after we started. I want to say again, MM Farwell. She's like the point of contact. She's like the engine. She's like the fuel. She's everything. Um, she yeah. she's like you know the architect that you see here doing so many amazing things. Um, do, you know, never asking you for know. credit. She never wants credit, but we're gonna give her the credit because she deserves it. She's absolutely just. I mean, like, where do you even start with someone like her? So everybody here knows her and we all go to her and she kind of creates everything that you see here. But um, she doesn't really ask for the credit. So we try to just. Yeah, force and, it and, here you go. Take that credit. MM, take it. <laughs> let, me, let, me, let me throw a little icing on that strawberry shortcake. Yeah, um, like, your, like your beautiful, thoughtful texts. I've yeah. had them when I needed them and didn't know I needed it. I see I got a voicemail and it's from MM leaving me the nicest message. Oh, I'm just finished doing this. I gotta go see the kids. I'm I'm shopping, but I'm in the car and I just wanted to say hi thinking of you and I hope you're okay. And I'm like, what? What did yeah, I do? I'm like, who is this person? Yeah. Sir, so thank you so much for that. <laughs> They're the so best. Great. And Sandy D, because she came in a little bit later too. Sandy D, we gave you shout outs, Sandy, Sandy D. D also. I we mean, always give Sandy D shout outs. We we listen, we jam with Sandy D because I don't you know, listen, we're all so busy. Most of the times on Saturday night, I'm watching, yeah. I'm watching like uh SBU, Law and Order, marathons and eating Chinese food and hiding from people. So I'll go to a yeah. Yeah. and watch some Sandy D. Next thing yeah. you know, I'm some sake and I'm dancing to Sandy D. Love you, Sandy D. Love you. <laughs> and love is all around. Love is all around. Love is all love around. Love is all around. Yes, nothing can compare to the ones that you love. And that's the thing. And everybody we love is right here right now, or we've given them a shout out. So, yeah, nothing can compare to the, the ones that you love. I, I love the lyrics, Tom, for your theme song. I love the original of the theme song. I love everything you do. Well, I, yeah, I couldn't be more proud of what we're doing. Uh, I, I love this. And, uh, you know, sorry, everyone, sorry to anyone who finds it annoying for us to be this positive, but we're trying. To be, you know, and uh, listen, it's and authentic, it, I promise it's authentic. Get down, reach out to me, man. You know, uh, we'll talk uh, so much love, Manny. Uh, uh, wonderful. You, you worldly renaissance, man. Thank you so much. Well, thank you, Tom. Thank you for having me on here. Man, All right. wonderful. Cheers, everyone. We'll see you soon. And uh, one love. One love, everybody.